Hi everyone, welcome back to my Fox Hunt YouTube channel. So the last video which we have already uploaded on our YouTube channel regarding the weekly analysis was very uh, helpful for all those traders and uh, we have had view to capture 1000 of it because the topic of all time high has been already captured and covered in that particular video. In this particular video, again, we will understand the gold market analysis using the technical point of views in uh, using the engulfing strategy okay we are only using engulfing strategies engulfing candles no indicators no brain lines only on the basis of engulfing strategy we will analyze the market from the weekly analysis till the m15 and m5 confirmations and m1 exact entry point analysis okay so let's deep dive into the video the key factors which will be covered in this particular video is the first one we will understand the market structure from the weekly time frame to the m5 time frame to understand the exact bio sell areas the second one is about psychological management and the money management because regarding the technical analysis, you will find thousands of videos which will be helpful for you to gain an area of buy or sell using the layering strategies. But that will not help for you because layering will kill your account and it will not give you a boost to your account. Simply, we will move to the pinpoint entries and we will understand the importance of pinpoint entries in this particular video uh, in the ABQ analysis that how pinpoint entry helps you to gain or grow your account and the fourth one is we will cover all those news events which will uh, be co coming in this particular week and we will understand the market structure along with the news confirmations and we'll take the trades on the basis of m1 and m5 confirmations so in this particular video we will also cover the m1 and m5 confirmations how to take trades on the basis of m1 and m5 confirmations and you can take a small asset as low as 20 pips and the TTs will be 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3. At 1 is to 1, we will break even on our positions and we will understand more about the risk management because this is the point where people are losing their money. And the last and the best one is that we will take the analysis of code only from the weekly to the lower time frame and the importance of M1 and M5 confirmation to enter into the market and understanding the risk management of the market. And the fourth one is which broker which broker on trading will you have to use for taking or making the analysis okay and this is for educational purpose you guys can use anything you want to use in the market but as a recommended thing because i have analyzed that every broker has different set of data for analyzing in the market so the most accurate one for the engulfing strategy according to my experience of four to five years that is easy market so we will understand more about it in the coming video and we will also cover all those topics or all the small questions which I have received from the people regarding the engulfing theory to be applied in gold chart for weekly analysis. So if you are new to this channel, subscribe and like comment your questions in the comment section and even the feedbacks will be appreciated. And if you are willing to understand market to uh, like uh, to mark all your goals by yourself personally, then you can watch all those videos which has been already uploaded on our YouTube channel for free. Not even a single cent will be charged to you. And the most important is we have a single group as well. If you wanted to join the community, you guys can DM us and we will help you out with the process how to join this group for free. Okay, and the knowledge will be shared for free with you. Even if you wanted to understand the market structure, the engulfing theories, you guys can go through our free uh, playlists. Okay, so let's move to the charts and understand the market structure from the weekly time frame and understand how market will play out on the technical perspective so hi everyone so this weekly analysis is going to be very perfect and very helpful for you for the coming week so first of all we'll understand the direction of the market so this is a weekly engulfing buy here as you can see okay and now we'll move to the daily time frame coming to the daily time frame you guys can see here we have an engulfing sell at the top here we have a buy which has been broken okay and we have this buy this buy and along with this, we have a sell failure. Okay, so we cannot particularly say that uh, whether this area is going to be a burst up or a burst down, because simply we have a buy fail as well along with the sell. So there is a high possibility in the market. Market can fall from this this purple area because this is the high of the engulfing sell. If market forms some confirmations here, market will surely go for 200, 300 pips to the downside. But if market comes into this zone on from uh, like uh, Monday to Friday anytime, so market has a high chances of going up again and breaking all time high, which is 2800. 
which is very like common for gold nowadays to go to the upper side so this congested area we cannot say anything because this is not okay sorry this buy is not broken yet can you see buy hasn't been filled yet so you, we cannot say directly that this this zone is going to be a buy fail area and along with that we can look for sell confirmations and go for sell 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 no because this is not broken we cannot take sell trades without confirmation of daily time frame we cannot understand the direction so right now we have a sell here so we can look for sell in these areas as we were having a buy here so market started going to the upper side from this area now already given 400 pips for the buy we are in the sell range so here we have to look for that four time frame then we will look for the other confirmations in lower time frame and we will look for the sell but we have daily confirmation here as well so we will go for buy here and buy here so according to the technical analysis we have sell here for 200 300 pips and we have buy here and here for higher pips okay if market forms confirmation here we can look for more buy okay and here we can look for sell if market breaks this area retests it it will go up okay so that is the second part so right now we have to focus on a sell in this particular area okay we are moving to the h4 time frame now in this h4 time frame we have to understand what market can do so right now i am marking all those potential buy areas where market can go for buy this is my buy this is my buy i am removing this line because this is of no use right now for me and this is my third buy and uh, along with this daily i will take only one or two areas okay because uh, marking all those lower areas of no use market will not come directly into this area if i need if i see any need of marking this area i will mark and share it with you right now in the top area okay in this top area we can see we have engulfing sell for the daily time frame also in the week, daily time frame we have h4 sell okay i am marking this one we have a buy fail here as well so this buy fail and this sell we will take this sell because this is a uh, apex area of the daily and h4 uh, time frame if we have retailer's box here we can go for direct sell if we don't have written box don't worry we have more confirmation and more confirmation trades because this weekly is going to be very funny okay okay so right now if we see we have one more sell failure if market closes as a green candle above this purple box it will cover it is and it will go up to this area because from this area there are some chances market can drop okay before dropping it will like go to the upper areas as well okay because when market is at an all-time high the market usually uh, hits all SLs and then it starts dropping down clear so this area buy if market closes this green candle in at four this buy this buy this buy this buy and this is your sell. so we are moving to the m15 time frame for the upper area okay this upper area so this upper area we don't have i think fresh engulfing m15 cell okay i don't think so wait can you see this m15 engulfing cell formed but has been twisted at the time it formed okay so we cannot say this candle can work as a potential cell so we will take this one from 49 to 51 this is a very small area we will enter directly directly into the market okay so now i am marking this area for sell this is my sell area where i can enter without confirmation 51 to 49 if market forms Uh, as I have confirmed you, if market forms, this closes this green candle here, it will be considered as a sell fail. Market will come to retest, it will take some confirmation, then it will buy. This is my sell right now. Now I will filter these buys. Going to the M530 time frame right now. So there is a designated idea, okay? I'm just drawing a imaginary box. If H4 candle closes here for the buy, if and comes into the box before touching this area if market closes at four here okay then comes to the area forms an m30 engulfing buy here so there is a possibility market can go to this area again and it will tap it okay 
So before touching this particular cell area, market needs to close that 4 engulfing as a bullish candle, comes to the area again, forms M30 engulfing buy. Within that, we will look for confirmation and will go to the upper side again. Okay, so now I am deleting this one. So this is my M30. I will teach you confirmations today. This session is going to be very exciting guys. I will teach you confirmations how to enter with a small SL. Okay, because no one is teaching you and I am very uh, like uh, attentive in this manner. So like uh, uh, how I can help you to become more independent and take your own trade. So this is my M30 here. I am marking this M30. Okay. I have one more M30 box. In this one. And the lower one. Okay. This one is also M30. I am marking it as well. This is my M30. So right now I am taking only these areas. Okay. So within this M30, first of all, I will find my retailer's box. So if I have a retailer box, I can go for buy directly. And I will explain again so that you guys can take entries. Okay. This is my M15 area, which where I can take my inter entry without confirmation, without confirmation. The areas where I'm placing my lines, these are the areas for entry without confirmation, guys. Okay, without confirmation, you can enter. And for becoming more low risk, you can enter with M1. Okay, M1, sell fail. So give me some time. I'm coming to the point directly and then we will cover the top. So these are the lines where I can enter directly and this will give you a good accuracy, okay? 80-85% accuracy you will get. Okay guys, so this is very simple. In a simple way, I have marked all my areas. So where you can look for entries without confirmation. So now going to M30 again. So now let's understand. Without confirmation, without confirmation, without confirmation, without confirmation, without confirmation. Okay. These areas where I have been placed my lives, here you have to look for the confirmation because these are the areas within H4 time frame. Within that, we have M30. 1, 2, 3. 3 M30, so that we can take trade. Okay. So let's understand which type of confirmation we have to look for this area for sell. Okay. I'm going to the chart. Okay, I'm going to the, my uh, notepad first. Before that, let me explain it again. With confirmation, without confirmation, without confirmation, with confirmation, without confirmation, sorry, with confirmation, without confirmation, without confirmation, with confirmation, without confirmations. Okay, this is an area where we can enter with confirmation and without confirmation even. So with that, with confirmation, it will become a super area for buying because this is H4 demand area, low with theory. Okay, this is also double tapping area with wix theory along with a h4 demand area okay so now let's understand about the confirmation so if you are looking for a high risk confirmation so no doubt we will take entry on the basis of m1 a b c okay so m1 a b c is good okay it is a uh, high risk but Let's suppose we have M1 ABC or M1 AB in combination with M5 engulfing by. This will make your SL very small. This is your high risk. Okay. I will show you some chart examples as well. If you want low risk, you have to use M5 AB. 
or M5ABC. M5AB means send fail or buy fail. Okay. If you are in a M30 buy area and you are looking for buy confirmations, you have to use M5 sell fail. Okay. In combination with M15 engulfing buy, which is low risk. Okay. Which is low risk. And the third one, if you want medium or low risk confirmation, you can simply look for M15 engulfing buy, which is same. These two areas are same. But if this area happens, like this scene happens, AB plus M15 engulfing buy, it is a very low risk area. If you want medium risk, you can directly enter with M15 engulfing sell, okay, or engulfing buy as well. But ABC is important for taking confirmation within the zone. Okay. And your SL will, for example, this is your AB. It makes your sell fail. So hardly if you are looking for a buy area here, buy entry here. So your SL will be from this area 10 pips or 15 pips. And your TPs will be at least 1 is to 2. At 1 is to 1, you will break even your positions. For lot sizing, if you are having a $100 account, simply go with 0 0.013 entry. And your TPs will be 20, 40, 60. If you are having more than 100, means 500, for example, till 1, 500, you have to use the same concept or you can add one more entry here and keep your last TP at 100 pips, okay, which is easily accessible. If your lot size, if your um, equity is more than 500, simply 0.02, four entries, the same concept will be used 20, 40, 60, hundreds. At 20 pips, you will break even all your positions immediately. It should be understanding. Okay, it should be understandable that once the market goes in your 20 pips favor, simply place your break evens, including your spreads. Okay, and be stress free. Okay, don't use more lots than this. In terms of news trading, if red news is coming, okay, for example, uh, it is 12 13 p.m. right now, p.m. IST right now, if market in market red news is coming at 12 15 simply take a rest of 20 minutes okay take the rest of 20 minutes so that you will not hit your sl you will uh, like to keep yourself away from the slippage this is the only thing you can do in the news okay because uh, equity is small you have to protect your equity and in the coming time frames in the coming uh, time in the coming videos we will understand how to tackle the news even sometimes we can capture news and it gives very good pips. But right now, you guys are learning. So simply avoid news for 20 to 30 minutes. And after that, come to the market and again start going to the boxes where we have marked the zones. And then look for the confirmations, which is low risk and high risk. And then you can take the entry with confidence. Don't take SL more than 40 pips in any cases. Okay. Don't do layering. Okay, because layering is not good for your account. What is layering? Simply a zone and you are taking one, two, three, four entries when price is going up. So if you are a good trader, simply mark a line here where which is very powerful and take the trick all your lots here and calculate the SN or TP from this particular area. Don't do layering. Layering is bullshit. So focus on pinpoint entries and in the whole engulf thing. Okay, we are focusing on pinpoint because we are not here to make uh, money out of the commissions because of the layering strategies. Simply focus on pinpoint, one line, one price, buy or sell, fix SL, fix TB, which makes your trading less risky, less stressful. Okay, now some people ask me, what are the timings where I can look for the trades one? So simply the timings according to the Indian standard timing, IST, okay, you have to use for 11 to 2 p.m. Okay, 11 to 2 p.m. is a fixed slot where you can go for the entries. The boxes I have marked, right? The boxes I have marked within that boxes, you have to look for M5 and 15 confirmations only. No M1 confirmation. That is bullshit. Okay, because this time we don't have large volume so that avoid M1. Take entries on the basis of M5, AB, ABC or M15 engulfing by. I will show you one or two examples here. Okay, and for more trades from 8 p.m. IST to the 5 p.m. IST to 8 p.m. IST. Use M1 M5 combination trade if you want to go with high risk. Even this high risk will give you good accuracy of 70 75 percentage with 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4. Okay, 
and if you are looking for m5 m15 in us sn this will give you a burst up trade burst up and down if you are looking for sell you will go down and if you are looking for buy you will go burst up so minimum target your 40 to 60 pips only take those trading areas where the target should be 40 to 60 to 100 pips okay be independent trader guys don't be dependent m5 abc ab is very like easy sell fill buy fill there is nothing science there okay so simply go to the those confirmation areas and then only take the trades and avoid m1 m5 during this time and take trades here so don't look for teal zone that zone then zone volume trade no simple this is the sessions where you have to take the trades according to ist convert it into your respective time frame zones and take the entry with confidence you will 100 percent get an accuracy of 80 to 85 percentage if you are using m5 m15 confirmations and little low if you are using m1 confirmation so let's move to the chart again and try to understand m5 or m15 confirmational trade so let's find a trade here mm, let me find one for example okay so right now i'm just uh, showing you one like um, area where i can say how to use the particular confirmation things okay so let's suppose this is my cell fail i'm deleting this box this is my cell fail draw drag it to the right okay let's do like this go to the m15 time frame now mark this m15 i'm just showing you an example so if we have m15 engulfing buy like this within this we need m5 cell fail so for example we have a cell fail here okay we have a cell fail okay along with that we have m15 engulfing buy in m15 time frame we have in m5 we have cell fail in m15 time frame we have engulfing buy both times i'm showing you buy so take your trades on these m5 sell fail here your sl will be 10 to 20 pips to the downside and your tps will be 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 this is just an example okay so you have to look for these type of confirmations in these areas these areas if market comes sell fail forms within that m15 engulfing buy forms you can look for a buy trade okay so now let me show you one more example of buy so let's say let's say we have this self area okay so do we have an m15 engulfing buy here yes we have an m15 engulfing buy can you see this is my m15 engulfing buy within that we have m5 self fail market came took the orders and it started going up because this area was within the previous m30 can you see m30 market come m5 m15 confirmation forms within this area do not look for confirmations above the box even if it is at a distance of 10 to 15 bips avoid it simply avoid it okay take trade enter confirmation direct entry sltp covered if you guys comment some beautiful feedbacks i will come with a very important announcement for the next weekly analysis that will revolutionize your like uh, trading journey okay that will give a boost to your trading journey again and that will be very helpful for you so simply drop a uh, good feedback in the comment section and uh, like let us know how we are helping you guys for becoming the best trader in the forex industry okay along with that if you want to join our ib group let us know uh, DM us, we will help you out with the process how to join our IB group where we send you the trades along with logics, pinpoint into logics. The SL is usually 20, 30, 40 pips maximum, and the TPs are as long as 100 pips. Okay, so waiting for your beautiful comments and the confirmations have been covered. And if you have any questions, let us know me in the comment section. Even you can DM us. If you are new, please subscribe to the channels. Feedbacks will be appreciated. Thank you.